Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the associations one to many in the sequelize. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel and if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. In sequelize, defining one to many association between the two model allows you to express a relationship where one model has multiple instances associated with it. In this example, we will demonstrate one to many association between two models, user and the post. Each user can have the multiple post, right? So let's see how we are going to do that with the models. So here we have the user.js model. Okay, so this is already we have created in the previous video. I will show you. So here we have the users.js. So here we have already created our model. Okay, so user, username and sequelize model name user. Okay, so this we have already created. The thing is that the post.js is not there. So here we have the posts.js. So what we have required over here in the post, we require title and the content. I think the title and the content both are there. Okay, so this is that one, right? So module.export post. So here we have export that one. Okay, the next part that is here, the user and the post. So here we have to define the relationships, define one to many. So here we have the user and the post. If I go over app.js file, so here you can see. Okay, so here we have the config part. Now we are going to define or you can go with the index.js file of the models. Okay, so here we have index.js where we have mentioning the relationships. So here I can also mention the relationship here like user has many post and the post belongs to users okay so here just i need to mention the post part so here const post post so we have the post so here we have the post let me check the export part is post. Okay, so let's import like this post equal to require. Okay, so here we have to go with this. So I think the post. Okay, so just need to export this one here module.export. Okay, so this is done. So it will build the relationship. The next one that we have to sync the mo sync that one. Okay, then we have to first create the user associated with the post. So first we create the user that is John Doe. Okay, and then we have to create the post title and the content. Post to await that post dot create title to so second post. Okay, then what we are doing associated the post with the user. So we are await user dot add post okay so this is add post part post one and the post two okay so here we are using all the posts to the that user and when try to retrieve the associated post so the user dot find one where user norm name is this include the post so let's copy all this this section and try to uh, do that one okay so here we go with the users controller no app.js file so here we have the app.js so let's comment this one and add it over here or this part only comment and just add it okay so here we have the two first we have created the user John Doe. okay then we have a post I think post we haven't required over here so just add the post section also Okay, so the post okay so here we have create the user first with the John Doe if it is there then first we delete that one so here we go with the localhost PHP my admin no so here we go with the PHP slash adminer PHP my admin Okay, so here we have a REST API 2. So let me search with this one REST API 2. So here we have the profiles. 
okay so we will delete that profile then we have a user so let me delete that one also then we have a users users we have no because okay so this is clear on that so let's try to run this node app dot js so here we go with this one so what it says that insert into the post title this insert into the connection has been established insert into the post somewhere else it will editing the issue so first we need to sync first part okay so i think where is the sync part so here the sync part we haven't updated so let's first sync that one okay so everything should be synced right let's add it posts does not exist so that sequelize part so we haven't synced that part first so we need to sync first okay so node app get entry for the john so username so i think the user is already created first so let me drop this okay so the posts is here okay so let's try to run again now you can see it is inserted so here you can see that we have the user id username and the related post from here okay all the posts so how the combination belongs to over here so here you can see that in the index.js of this one index so here we have defined that user has many posts okay and post belongs to the user okay so here when we define over here if i go over the app.js file so here you can see first we create the user okay then we are going to create the post so this is first post this is second post associate the post with the user with the help of await user dot add posts okay post one and the post two okay and retrieve the user with the associated associated post with the help of this await you find one where username is this and include the post so it will retrieve all the users with the post data in the json format you can see that okay so this is the relationship between relationship one to many right so here you can see that this is relationship one to many so this is how we have achieved that association in the sequelized orm and without any query in that you let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day